What's up guys, welcome to another video. Unfortunately, it's a sad one. As we were cleaning up the Evo, getting it ready to hibernate for the winter, I did one last pull and of course, something bad happened. I'm pretty sure I spun a rod bearing. Um, I drained the oil last night, which you'll see clips of and all the stuff that came out with it. Um, and today I'm gonna pull the pan and uh, more than likely pull the uh, the rod caps, see uh, see what type of damage we're looking at, um, and then go from there. Good thing is, I guess we'll have a whole bunch of content to uh, to go through. Um, bad thing is, this is probably going to take a little while. I need to take care of shop stuff, as that's number one priority. Um, and I'd like to uh, fully pay the car off before I start messing with with everything else. So. Um, have some patience, but I'll definitely keep you guys updated as we go along. Uh, we have other projects to work on as well. The, uh, the Audi needs the, um, the airbags installed. The Jeep's going to need some work, so we'll have plenty of projects. Unfortunately, our favorite one is down for the count, so we'll see how it goes. All right, we're under the car. I pulled the downpipe off, disconnected the O2 sensor, disconnected the oil return line, the, took off the starter, and this is the starter wires. Uh, there is a little inspection cover that I took off. And now the only thing left is just the oil pan, and then we'll take a look at what's inside. Really? I do. Yeah, let me just take off these uh, bolts. Okay. off time to start inspecting Let's see what's what so far we have some silicone in the uh, in the pickup and definitely definitely bearing material I saw some in the pan too it's definitely in there 
see it right there. It's kind of all over the place. Definitely back there too. So the bearing is definitely no good. Let's see what comes out of this pin. There's a bunch of stuff on the bottom. Oil's still nice and thick, so it's not like thinned out on us or anything like that. a lot of shit in there. I'd say that was our problem, but we'll check we'll pull the caps off too and see what's up with the crank. All right. Now that we know that we have to pull this thing out eventually, um I'm going to rotate the crank and take off the uh, the rod bolts and the caps and uh, see see how the crank is. More than likely, I think, we'll end up replacing the whole rotating assembly. Uh, maybe pick up a spare block just so I have a spare here and then, uh, then go from there. It's going to be a long process, but that's all right. It's going to be a learning curve and I'll get to learn more about the car than I guess I ever did. guys this one is gonna be a little short but at least we know what's going on with the car as you can see more than likely rod bearing number three was no good um, the other ones didn't look any better I guess once the material started tra traveling through the motor it just kind of ate everything else up the crank seems to be okay but I think I think we're gonna rebuild it better um, maybe with some billet stuff so we'll see how it goes like I said shop priorities first paying off the cars first so this will sit for a little bit until uh until we're ready for it um in the meantime we'll do some planning start getting things together brainstorm ideas what we want to do um what we want to do with the bay after everything's out and uh and go from there so we'll catch you on the next one later <laughs>